to my kitchen, Conversations in the Kitchen with Roxy. Hope you guys are excited for a brand new receta que les voy a compartir. I'm actually sipping, my drink of choice today is green matcha. I've been on a green matcha kick lately. Maybe because it's loaded with antioxidants and antioxidants are good for us. Pero today, as you can see, we have one zucchini, two zucchini, three zucchini. Our main ingredient for this recipe is zucchini. We're making zucchini chicken enchiladas. <laughs> to prepare the chicken. Starting off by putting a little bit of green onion, poquito. Some sweet peppers, orange and red. A little bit of sea salt. We're gonna stir. So my chicken has been pre-cooked already. I left it marinating in a little bit of coconut oil and chili flakes. So it's already been cooked, so I just have to warm it up. This is the chicken that's gonna be going inside the zucchini chicken enchilada. I also had some leftover homemade salsa that I made for breakfast the other day. So since the chicken to me looks a little bit dry and I like my stuff saucy, I'm just gonna add some of this, just to give it un poquito de sazón, un poquito de moisture, un poquito de caldo. We want our chicken to be saucy, you know what I'm saying? Nobody likes dry food. That's the misconception with making better eating choices is that, oh my gosh, eating good is so boring and it has no flavor. I can guarantee you that my chicken is gonna have a bunch of flavor. You could try this right now, you would be like, damn, so good. So, so good. Okay. So the cool part about this dish is about to happen because you're going to create your own tortilla where you're gonna roll up the chicken to make it a zucchini chicken enchilada out of zucchini. So here we go. This is how you do it, okay? You're going to need un pelador like this. This is a peeler, all right? But it's special because it, it faces you. So you're going to have to get this. Check it out. Boom. So then you lay it down. See, I already created one over here. Kill your zucchini until you get perfect pieces, okay? Like this. All right. Perfect. So here we have two of these, right? Get a little bit of the chicken. Put it in the middle. And you get your zucchini pieces and you roll it. Like this. And some of the chicken might come out, but just put it back in. Put it right here. You do the same thing to the next one. So you do this until you fill this whole thing. Oh, 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 oh,
once you've rolled all of your zucchini chicken enchiladas, you're going to get enchilada sauce. I chose the red. You can choose the green one if you like, and you are going to put some of this on top. Make them nice and juicy. I love my stuff juicy and moist. Okay, so boom. So now it's like, oh, okay, now you start to see how they look like enchiladas, right? You're gonna get some of this. This is dairy-free cheese because I am lactose intolerant and I prefer to, and you're gonna put this on top. And then you are going to put in the oven at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. I hope you guys give me two thumbs up on my video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because every week I post a video. And share this video with somebody that's out there trying to change their eating habits. Remember, you are what you eat. Try to stay consistent. Stay on a weekly regimen. Do the 90-10 rule like my mom says. 90% of the time you do good, 10% of the time you cheat. It's all about the balance, okay? I'll see you guys next week. And again, thank you for watching. I freaking love you guys.